Hello, my name is Wayne Thalpe, and I am a third generation Filter Queen owner. Now, I am a, a huge fan of the Filter Queen vacuum cleaner. It is reliable. They work excellent for people who have allergies. Now, most vacuums leave a smell behind. If you change your pre-filter pre in it, you will not have any trouble with your allergies. This thing is an air purifier as well as a vacuum cleaner. Actually, if you take the hose off and turn it on low, you can use it as an air purifier. Now, how the filter queen idea started was a guy by the name of Ed Yonkers out of Chicago. Invented this and invented the filter queen in 1928. It's patented, he patented his cyclonic action vacuum cleaner, it uses a cone where the dirt comes in, hits it at an angle, and then falls into the bin, and it spins around until it gets full. The suction power is phenomenal out of this machine. You can do, they used to sell different attachments. They even had a power drill for this machine in the 1950s that used air to power it. And then they have this machine is also used, could be used as a hair dryer. So my grandma got her first one in 1959 off the door-to-door door -door salesman. I do not know the salesman's name. He came, my grandpa thought it was a good idea, probably, because he's bought her a lot of nice stuff over the years because it was the, the vacuum at the time. All the sanitariums and the hospitals, and everybody who needed things absolutely spotless. They even used them them in the atomic labs at Cookville, Tennessee to keep them spotless clean because the filter queen would do more than any other vacuum of the time because every other machine of the time was a bagged machine. The first bag, bagless vacuum cleaner, it was state-of-the-art designed, meaning there was no flaws in its design, and there are some things they should have kept with that design. It worked excellent. Nobody ever knew it would work. That's like the Babson Brothers milking machine, because it looked like a pressure cooker with milk claws on it. So they thought it would never work as a milking machine, but it worked out so great that one of the biggest corporations out there, the Felder Queen was the same way. Different than everybody else, but in a way, that's a legend. Nobody else can do anything like it. Health more bought Filter Queen in 1939. There's when they went into production, it was about 1940. And today, Health more Industries now in Strongsville, Ohio, still builds the Filter Queen. And it is very, this exact design here, but the top, narrower than the canister itself, that design come out in the 50s with the tool holder. Now, the old filter queens weren't this pretty. They were taller, they didn't have any chrome on them, and they were not as powerful as these are. These have a two and a quarter horse motor in them, and they have all the power you could ever want. It's more powerful than your now shot filter. Now the cone filter is the heart of your filter queen system. It takes the dirt, dops it off the filter, and then clean air comes out to these vents on the side. The only complaint I'll have is about it is the brush rolls. They need to change. They need to put a more, better, bigger pulley on the motor because they just have a bare shaft. And also, the hoses will crack after about 15 years, so you'll need to replace your hose about every 15 years. 
Other than that, I have no complaints with the machine whatsoever. It is absolutely silent. Now I'll try on the head. I can't get enough of that sound. The thing just sounds sweet. I just can't get enough. We'll look at it. It's an impressive machine. But to have something like that, you have to spend a lot of money. I can't get enough of that sound, man. Now the purpose of this video is to explain to you how the Filter Queen system works. It is a very unique cleaning system. It is more than just a vacuum cleaner, a lot more. You can use it to clean up the cobwebs, you can use it to you can use it for many other things. You can even dry your hair with it. And it also works as many other things. In the 50s, they even sold a paint sprayer to go off Hilder Queen, which I happen to own. And they also have a um, floor polisher that used the air coming out the top to used the air to power it and it would scrub your floor your hard floors and they even and then you could take this the polishing wheel off and you could put a power drill unit on it and a sander and a grinder unit as well to do work in your workshop that was a and the power polisher was a 39.95 option in 1959 oh and I also forgot to tell you guys this they also make a tool called the vibrator, and it will snap on your hose, and it uses the air up the top to blow it, blows air through it, and it vibrates the hose so you can use it as a massage tool as well. And you can still buy the curved wand and the 14-inch floor nozzle with the felt pad for hard floors. They use a lot of those in Europe. So they began offering them again. It was a thing in the 40s and 50s. It is the original filter queen wand. It still has the old hook, old push button hookups. This machine is one of the last to still have factory push button hookups. This is a push button hookup. I'm gonna have twist and lock hookups. Now many of the new filter queens out here do not have twist lock. The majority of them are still push button and most of the extra tools are still push button today in 2014. Now they just got a brand new wrapper design for the tank on it. This tank here on the bottom, they just come with a brand new wrapper for them. And you can take that decal off and it looks really cool. I can't get enough of that sound, man. Now on an ending note, the Filter Queen vacuum system is the best vacuum cleaner. It is a purchase you shall make, and it will last your fam family 50 plus years if it is well taken care of. I have proof of that because I was running a 1959 Filter Queen up until March 2013. And the reason for it is not running now is because I tried to fix it myself. And I was not capable of it because I was trying to put a new power cord on it. But that's because I messed some things up. Because I wasn't know what I was doing, but I figured out what I did wrong and I fixed it. So therefore, the Filter Queen is a purchase you shall make. It's maybe $1,800 brand new now. But it's something you should have. Heck, they were $1,200 in 1959, so they have not went up much since get enough of that sound, man. I can't get enough of that sound, man. I can't get enough of that sound, man. Get it.
never that sound, man. 